For Dorna to work with Labo is absolutely a pleasure and a very profitable relationship. Uh, if today MotoGP is uh, where it is in terms of uh, recognition in the in the media world, is uh, due to a uh, relationship like like the one that we have with Labo, where we can explore, we can develop uh, new tools, new performance to our customers, to our broadcasters. Okay? That means uh, for us uh, to work with Labo is absolutely a profitable relationship and a relationship that in the end uh, takes benefit for all the industry. We started working with Labo in 2014 and that was after a very interesting uh, experience in 2013 when we were looking for a partner to produce for the first ever time 5.1 audio instead of the stereo that we were using in a really, really old analog way. I have to say that that test was in the most important moment in 2013 at Valencia, where the championship was about to be decided. And they were there, Labo was there, just, just showing us the possibilities uh, with a very modern system based on IP audio. That test was so profitable and so good that on Saturday we proposed Labo to be live with them instead of our analog system uh, on Sunday, where somebody would be world champion. And from that point, we knew that they were ready to work for the future with us and in 2014 we were running since the very beginning in Qatar until the end uh, the first 5.1 audio experience at the highest level with the best service and with the best equipment we, we ever used in, in, in audio. We were coming from an analog distribution of signals in the TV compound and we moved to a digital one. We started to use a new Nova 73 Labo Matrix with Dallas frames as stage boxes in the different facilities in the TV compound. With this new setup, we achieved a really good degree of redundancy, very good flexibility in placing of stage boxes, and we simplified the cabling. Another very important improvement was the audio follow video that we introduced. With BSM, we were following two video switchers and controlling the audio desk. We also did a big change moving from the stereo production to a new simultaneous 5.1 plus stereo. After the experience in 2014 and 2015, we knew uh, Labo was one step forward, not only in audio, but also in video, in the IP world. We had no doubt that the first IP step on video could be done with, with, with Labo again. This year, for the production of several broadcasters, we introduced an IP MCR. We centralized several broadcasters, up to eight, into one MCR. The core of the setup is a pair of Arista switches, ANOVA 73, and several billing force connected to those. The system is managed by DSM. We have a pair of servers for redundancy purpose and several panels for operators. Another important part of the setup is the commentary positions. There we use LCU consoles connected to a Dallas frame. Those are connected through a billing 4 to the rest of the network. This allows us, a part of having the commentary consoles, to transport video signals and get signals from cameras in the commentary positions. All the consoles can be controlled by only one operator with the touchscreen software from Lab. We'll keep evolving the system, uh, having all the benefits that we are, we are receiving, not, not only from, from Labo engine, but also on our environment where, where we like to invest on future on, and, and, and obviously trying to, to solve future challenges that will come with IP video uh, infrastructure.